previously on Maker's Wharf, I demoed a DIY autonomous boat called Furio that can be pre-programmed to reach a sequence of destinations. Though I didn't really carefully explain the operation back then. So I'll start by doing that now and then I'll go over the modifications I've made to turn Furio from a generic autonomous boat to an autonomous fishing boat. Furio's brain, so to speak, is a PCB that I designed myself. It uses an Arduino Mega. For the uninitiated, think of Arduino as a universe of microprocessor and associated modules that electronics hobbyists use in their projects. The Arduino Mega I'm using here is a nicer, more expensive version of these modules. The PCB also holds a GPS, an inertial sensor, a micro SD card module, a buzzer, various on and off switches, and banana connectors, all conformally coded for better protection against the elements. I call it the get ahead Arduino assembly because it allows one to blast through just about any Arduino project without having to go through the mind numbing phase of struggling with loose wiring and faulty hardware. Look for a link below if you'd like to buy one for your own project. Also, if you'd like to use it for the same things I use it for in my videos, you can purchase a version that has already been flashed with my code. You can then edit and save a config file and insert it into the SD module to configure your own ones. More on this later. The get ahead assembly controls two things for Furio. The servo that steers the turbo jet left, right, or straight ahead, and the electronic speed controller, which controls how much power goes to Furio's powerful brushless motor. There's a water cooling system consisting of a water cooling jacket that covers the motor and silicon tubes that circulate water through the electronic speed controller and the motor's jacket. Note that the turbojet is doing double duty here. It's propelling the boat forward as well as propelling some water through the water circulation system. So how does this work? First step is to configure your run. You do this by editing a config file that is then saved to a microSD card that is then inserted into the GetAhead assembly's microSD module. In this config file, you'll define things like default power. This specifies whether you want to say run your motor at 20% power or 50% power, etc. Destinations. This is the sequence of X, Y coordinates relative to a start location. The start location is the location at which you perform the activation gesture, which is done by pointing the boat up, then down, then up. The boat will drive to each of these destinations in sequence. Laps. This is the number of times you would like the boat to loop through the sequence of destinations before heading back to the start location. You'll also define bot fishing parameters that I will cover later in this video. You then take the boat to the start location. This could be right on the beach or further into the ocean if you have another boat that can carry both you and your autonomous boat there. Once there, you perform the gesture and release the autonomous boat into the water. As the boat loops through the destinations, it continuously records its position, speed, and course to a log file on the microSD card. You can then read these later. I read them using Python code that allows me to overlay a real-time animation of the boat's trajectory and autometer display of its speed over my GoPro video. Now let's cover the changes I recently made to convert this from a generic autonomous boat to an autonomous fishing boat. This was done in two steps. First, I tie an artificial bait, this could be a crankbait or swim bait or anything, to Furio through a fishing line. Second, I implement bite detection. I detect bites simply by looking for sudden drops in speed below some threshold. We expect that once a fish bites, it'll drag Furio who will no longer be able to travel at the same speed he was traveling at before the bite. Remember, Furio is already reading and logging speed from the GPS module. All we need to do then is to define a threshold speed below which a bite is detected. And we do this again in the config file. Note that I'll display this speed threshold as a fixed red bar in the autometer display, meaning a bite is detected when and only when the green bar drops below the red one. Finally, once a bite is detected, we want Furio to abort looping through the destinations, kick into higher power so that the hook sets, 
and directly head back to the start location for pickup. So we also define a new power level called Furious. I typically set Furious power level to 100%. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. that boat. It's definitely gonna hit that boat. Oh, it's gonna hit me. making a turn. Uh oh. See that?
Scott. We lost it. Something bit it. Wow, look at that. Something bit it off.